So the big bomb that he dropped is that he agreed and he kind of, um, not agreed, he's kind of like confirmed that Tesla is in talks with a very large automotive OEM to license autonomy, to license yeah. FSD. This is a big, big deal because I was Huge. saying it's not possible because either FSD is not quite ready there. Why would a large uh, auto ODM even talk to them? They want to prove that it's working. But for them to say that this is happening, this is a massive, massive deal. <laughs> Excuse me. What would you think, Alessandro? Absolutely love it. And remember when we discussed uh, how the charging network was opening up to 4GM and all the others, we, we immediately thought this was going to be followed by anything that has to do with software licensing. And uh, yes, of course, this will, will need that their hardware is upgraded. And yes, they are not working at the same speed than Tesla, or at least they have not been in the past. So this will need some adjustment from their, from their parts. I just did a Twitter poll asking my followers, who they think it is. And, and I gave them a couple of ambiguous choices. Uh, the first one being either Ford or GM. So it wasn't one of the two. The second being Toyota. Obviously, I didn't think that was really a viable option. But who knows? Because I'm, I'm, I don't want to put completely Toyota aside because it may be for them a way to now suddenly jump in the lane. I think they have understood how bad their situation is. Uh, and there are all ties between Toyota and Tesla. So I'm, I don't, I don't want to just completely say it's not Toyota. The third option was German OEMs and the fourth one was uh, was others, so Stellantis or whatever else. Um, nearly 77% think it was the first option, meaning Ford and GM. And everybody in the comments said it's not GM, it's Ford. And, and I mean, I agree. Ford was the first one to jump into the supercharger network. And um, and so what does that mean for an OEM? You have to understand for the OEMs to change a car or to develop a new car, it is multiple years. It is three to five years. They have their tier six suppliers. Everybody has to work their stuff out. Everything is complicated, taking time. Remember when we talked about Volkswagen a year ago, or it was post-COVID, where, where Volkswagen was thanking all their suppliers, they named 40 thousand suppliers okay so if you want to do a new car and need new parts or suddenly change the front or the rear or whatever anything else that's not the cup holder it's just a major change right so let's be very clear if you want to have fsd software you also need the cameras you also need the, the software managing the fsd so there is a lot of adjustments to be made so that's why elon said we're in discussions but nothing is done yet because this means a huge capital investment on the side of the OEM. That's the first one to jump the line. But it also clearly means that they need to do it and they've understood it. And I'm seeing a couple of comments and I had that on Twitter as well. Maybe it's BYD. Could be possibly BYD because remember a couple of weeks ago, Elon had talks about FSD being licensed in, in China, right? Yeah. So this just opens so many possibilities. And what I love about it, <laughs> Wall Street doesn't get it. Guys, this is an opportunity to well, buy the dip. If you have, if you have a, a bit of, of of holding power, this was your health insurance, life insurance, and every other insurance that this is going to happen, and Tesla is going to have an enormous yeah. increase in value. So this is the good moment to purchase stock. Yeah, the confidence is really, really high. So in this earnings call, the number one thing I took out away from this is his confidence in FSD, which he's he's had already, but he clarified that there's no one that can copy because one of the things we've been talking about here was, well, that's fine. It's software. Somebody else can just copy it. But mm -hmm. he said, he clarified that in order, there's no way anybody can do what we're doing. Even if they have the hardware and the software, they need to have the 300 miles that's been driven today in FSD. They yeah. soon will be billions and tens of billions soon. It will be as good as a human, 10 times safer than the average human driver. He said, maybe not by regular regulatory approval by the end of this year, but certainly 10 times safer. Um, and you know, and then when he was asked the question, margin versus uh, more share, why are you sacrificing margin for a share of, you know, are you just wanting volume? He answered it with every car that we sell, and if it's outfitted with full autonomy, in the future will be worth five times what it is today. So they can basically cut the margin, sell as much as they can, and in the future, they're going to make this up. The confidence is so high, though, that that's the key thing. And for me, when you hear an OEM is already in talks with them to license this, this means that they also provide, obviously, know that there's no, this is going to happen. They need so, to do and it. And they all know it. 
and they all know it. And that is why we see so much FUD lately. You know, they are still struggling. For them, this is now, it becomes very, very clear that while they had a sort of a, a, a fake oxygen bubble for a couple of years, thanks to COVID and the pandemic, this is now visible that the end is near, right? And either they jump on the train or that will be it. The other thing I wanted to point out, Herbert, because I know you you weren't there, but in the earnings report, uh, James uh, Stevenson made us, uh, made us uh, underline, and he's completely right, on page 10, uh, that's the page that addresses the outlook in uh, of, of 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 Tesla in four little chapters. One is on volume, one is on cash, one is on profit, and one is on pro product. In the profit section, so this is the outlook for product uh, for, for profit. It says while we continue to execute on innovations to reduce the cost of manufacturing and operations over time, we expect our hardware related profits to be accompanied by an acceleration of AI software and hold yourself, fleet-based profits. So there we are. So we're having today, actually, I mean, it's like Christmas and Easter at the same time. We're having three good news. First of all, starting Q3, there will be one transfer allowed of FSD. Right. I mean, there are so yeah. many people have been screaming about that. You see the first people going like, I want this car, I want that car, because they can't get it in a normal thing. And this is going to be it. The second is, obviously, that... There are in talks with the first OEM and the others will just ring the bell. Believe me, the, today, this was the wake-up call for so many others. And the third one is fleet-based pro uh, profits. And I believe that means this is the Tesla fleet operating as robotaxis, operating, uh, I don't know, even <laughs> as, as a vehicle share or whatever it is. But this, it, it's enormous. It's coming from all sides. My, my bull case scenario, you remember the one we discussed yes. in the last Cyber Bulls? <laughs> Just last week. I'm like, oh my God, this was supposed to be in 10 years, right? This is not supposed this to start now. now. You know what's funny? Crazy. What's hilarious is inventory, but the, the Tesla Q's count inventory. It's actually really good if there's inventories really <laughs> high, days of inventory, because it's Tesla's fleet, fleet. management. The other thing exactly. I noticed, that was yeah. very interesting because you did say something about uh, you said something about the institutional uh, analysts. But did you notice that the top three questions that they asked were all around AI and FSD? Yeah, they're and it was a bit there. of a shock. They they yeah. realized that this is the deal, this is real, and mm -hmm. they're asking questions about it. So I thought that was really good. Okay, I just want to clarify again, just be very clear here. What sure. we just heard is that Elon said he said that yes, we are in discussions with a very large auto auto uh, OEM about uh, licensing FSD from us. Then in throughout the call, he has said a number of topics. So one is uh, we've already gone 300 mile, million miles has been achieved by FSD beta. And then he said, this will soon be billions and tens of billions soon. It will be as good as a human, 10 times safer than the average driver. Um, then he confirmed several times that uh, in order to be able to accomplish autopilot and FSD, you need a, you need to have a neural network with millions of vehicles. The more data, the better. He emphasized the importance of data. He said, you know, this I can't emphasize this more. It's about the data. We have ninety percent of all data. There's no one else that, that can do this. Um, and and you need the supercomputer that they're investing a billion dollars in. Yeah. And uh, he just confirmed that you need all three because that was one of the concerns many people have is that can't can't uh, you know BYD just copy this well, as soon as we see Tesla doing it. That's